So here's an update on the Racer Cube build that I'm working on. I finally got the power connected to the ESC and since the since the power pads for the ESC were located on the front of the quad, I decided I wanted to run the power cables out of the back of the quad, so I had to um, solder the cables on um, facing backwards to get them to exit uh, from the back of the craft. And I also discovered that the flight controller has to be powered separately. There's no pass-through for power for the flight controller. So, um, unfortunately, the polarity of the um, flight controller was on opposite sides from the polarity of the speed control. So I had to make a crossover underneath and I'm hiding the wires on this build just for aesthetic purposes. Uh, basically um, I want to just make it really clean and um, hide these wires and hopefully there's no problems um, between the boards here. Uh, let's see. Um, on the flight control on the front of it you have your uh, video and camera in and the OSD is built into this board and on the on the rear um, we have the um, output of the OSD for the video transmitter and so what I've done is I've uh, taken the um, supplied um, plugs and I've removed the center wire um, for for the rear plug um, I discovered that if I ran, if I tested the voltage between the center wire and uh, ground, I had five volts here. My video transmitter needs uh, seven volts minimum. So I just removed that wire and I'll be wiring the video transmitter separately. And on the front of the uh, flight controller, we have the input for the uh, video camera, for the FPV camera. So I tested the voltage here and we have five volts between the um, the positive and the negative here so uh, I believe five volts should be enough to power my HS um, 1177 camera so we'll be running that and I'll provide an update and uh, show you guys where I am alright thanks a lot